Fontaine, and Alex Johnson, the five on the floor for North Carolina State. Dawkins, Curry, Thornton, Miles, and Mason probably in for Duke. Wood, Alina. Rolls off the iron, and Thornton finds Curry on the wing. Dawkins for three. Plumley will be fouled by Detain. A good inside uh, position that time by Plumley, anticipating that shot from the perimeter. Well, we mentioned fouls to give, and Detain has them. That's his first. And you'd rather Plumley be there than most. Fans respond to the make and close captioning for ACC basketball provided by Bojangles. Famous chicken and biscuits. It's bow time. Right, Duke is uh, getting to the free throw line, though, and pressing. They have really slowed this game down and gotten North Carolina State out of rhythm offensively. He's made his last three now from the line. Oh, yeah, that's, that's news. That's a big, big lift. 9-0 this run now. Fourteen say this is a big possession for NC State. They've had an answer for every Duke run up to this point. You've got to figure it's time for Brown or Wood to make a shot. Shot clock winding down. This is the guy they want to have it. Lorenzo all the way to the right, pulling up, knocked in. Curry clears. The place will explode with a big bucket. Brown, end to end. What an answer. And a big time play again. He, get, he beat the first wave of pressure. Played a lot of poise and finishing. It was time for Lorenzo Brown to make a play. It just came a possession later. Now Seth Curry showed up, doesn't look like he's suffering at all from that ankle sprain. Time out. The NC State lead down to nine. in the second half. Seth Curry has really taken on the load offensively. Neil Jones, a nice mid-range game there and a couple of threes. But it's really also Tim been Duke's pressure in the full court that has gotten NC State rattled and out of sync. When you run out of artillery and North Carolina State was teetering with a foul difficulty even midway through the first half, though they had a very large lead, it makes it difficult. But this sequence right here will help define just where this program is in its first year under Mark Godfrey. How they respond to this pressure. Uh, let's see how C.J. Leslie responds to playing with four personal fouls. He's got to be selective in the shots he goes after the block. He's working on Kelly now. He also has to watch on the drive, Tim, about picking up a charge. And no better team at doing that than the Blue Devils. Johnson with a ball fake and a deuce. Well, and that's not, a, not a good play defensively by Curry who went for it. You're not going to get the block. The only thing it accomplished is maybe making Johnson a two-point shooter instead of a three. Kelly left free for three. Long rebound to Leslie. Loose ball, fought for, out of bounds to Duke. You know, I think Leslie was a little bit tentative in going after that loose ball because he was concerned about fouling out of the game. We'll return after these messages from your local ACC station. 
It's amazing how when you warm up from the perimeter, you improve with this addition of the Duke Blue Devils. Well, and they didn't even know after the first minute of the game that they were going to have Curry going down with an ankle injury. A blow by against Wood. 19 now for Seth. Well, I think that the, I think they'd rather have him play two ball than three ball, so they'll make him a driver. Alex Johnson along with Lorenzo Brown, Deshaun Painter, C.J. Leslie, and Scott Wood. The five on the duck for Godfrey. Brown a little crossover and pull up. Sweet. 18 now for him. Well, he's been terrific. And then again, the thing you like about him is his size. He can get in the lane and play over the top of the people. Curry, a stop and go. Not there. Pulled down by Leslie. Now with seven rebounds, five rejections. The last couple of sequences they've gone with this one four set, utilizing a little clock. in the clear out. Well, they like that. Painter with the follow, and he's fouled by Plumley. C.J. Leslie really upset with himself for not making that bucket when he had the isolation against Plumley. Yeah, they really cleared out that side, but the drive, it, it forced the defender to step over, and that allowed Painter to get all over the offensive glass. Did you see Julius Hodge out there? He's... Uh, in the building tonight rooting for the Wolfpack. Well, he knows he knows how important a win in this building would be to Wolfpack Nation yeah, and to this team. Last time NC State won at Cameron was in 95. That was the year that uh, Coach K was ailing, ailing and uh, Pete Gaudet was coaching. Last time that North Carolina State beat a Coach K team in this building was way back in 1988. 13 in a row in this building for the Blue Devils against North Carolina State. Rivers off the bounce. Bang! Look out! He gets the tray to fall, and that could be infectious, not only for him, but for everyone else. Well, that's what great scorers do. They shed the past and stay in the moment. Well, Johnson's ball fakes have been very effective. Painter down low, stripped by Dawkins. And now the foul against Painter. Second personal foul committed by Deshaun Painter. There's a little floater inside, and he's been tough inside. And Dawkins coming from behind. Andre Dawkins playing with a lot of fire on both ends of the floor. And Mark Gottfried now is about to send C.J. Williams back into the game along with Richard Howell. So with 5.43 to play, Mark Gottfried knows how important to... It is to get his best front line attack out there. Each with four points. Here they come. Johnson and Payton lead. Uh, this, again, you'd be smart. You think about game situation at 543. You've got a little over a minute and a half before you get to that next TV timeout. So you can get to there in good shape. Then you just play ball for the last four minutes. You mentioned that Miami game, Mike. It is very similar, eerily so, really. How this game is played out in comparison to that. Ultimately, the thing you have to remember, even though you lost a 20-point lead, is what's at stake. Kelly with a giveaway foul, really. Far, far from the basket. That's four on him. You can see, they're, they're trying to just trap it and go all out in the backcourt. Well, the ACC Digital Network gives fans access anytime, anywhere. Who are the best rebounders in the ACC? This week, you can join former Tar Heels star J.R. Reed as he discusses the traits that make a good rebounder and which ACC players exhibit those traits the most. To watch J.R.'s art of rebounding, visit the ACCDN.com. You know, Tim, when you're in a double team and there's a big and a small in it and you're a guard, you always attack the big, and that's what he did with Kelly to pick up the foul. talk about uh, establishing your NCAA tournament credibility you need those proverbial skins on the wall this would be just that skin if NC State can hang on in the last five and a half 
Rivers on the blow by. Timeout, Duke. Well, you can see, I mean, they're really attacking the rim inside off the dribble. There's nothing the bigs can do. They have to lay off the play for the block behind. And he gets to his right hand. He's awfully tough to guard. Well, Raycom Sports and the ACC have unlocked the archives with over 150 basketball games, and all can be seen free at the ACC.com. Check out NC State's overtime win over Duke in the 87 ACC Tournament quarterfinals. That was in Landover, Maryland. I was fortunate to be at that game. The Wolfpack's Benny Del Negro scored only six points, the only six points in that regulation, but at nine in the final 90 seconds of overtime, the Pack beat the Devils 71-64 en route to an ACC Tournament crown. You can relive and share your favorite ACC moments at the ACC.com slash vault. You're telling me there were a few iron unkind calls in that game? <laughs> oh. Imagine two back-to-back -back double overtime games and I've got Dickie V in my ear. Uh, and, you were, <laughs> and you were still talking. Yeah. <laughs> So tough that you've been sitting for so long with foul trouble to come in and find some rhythm, rhythm with your jump shot. And now Williams, he, he draws Rivers to guard man to man. Curry, 69-64. The Blue Devils haven't been this close since very, very early in the proceedings. Rebound to Mason Plumley. Curry feeding Rivers. He wants it. Off the front end. Curry feeds Plumley. It's down to three. Uh, credit Ryan Kelly. He made that play with the tap out. Close. The score was two to nothing. And here's the look, and this is the recipe for Duke when they won the national championship in 2010. The tap out, and then Plumley just so athletic, you can throw it up at the rim, and he can go get it. Our game reset. We've been in the double bonus for a long time. Timeouts remaining. Two for State, just one for Duke. Mike Krzyzewski, early on during this run, Mike, used timeouts after made baskets, yeah, very he, early. Yeah, and he just and wanted to get his team on the same page defensively. And I think that's been the big difference in this game so far. Only 28 points in the second half so far for NC State after 41 in the first half. I think there have been a couple of occasions during the run as well, like the loose ball situation a moment ago, when Leslie going for it was less aggressive because I think they're playing scared with the foul difficulty. Well, and also a very subtle thing too, Tim, but three consecutive free throws by Mason Plumley, Yes. Who struggles at the line to keep that momentum going. Well, look, it, um, it took a few bizarre happenings for Duke to manifest that incredible comeback against North Carolina a week ago. Once you've accomplished that feat, and they did on the road, well, coming from 20 down at home, walk in the park, right? 